The McCall Winter Carnival kicks off in just two days, and among the scheduled events and activities is the third annual Idaho Sled Dog Challenge, and it's one of the fan favorites, I think, for everyone. Here to tell us about the race and how the dogs are cared for is race judge Stan Smith and Dr. Don Sessions. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having yes. us. I know everybody's excited. This is the third year. Yes. Um, and first, start us off, Stan, with why this is such a fan favorite for everyone. Well, I think a lot of people aren't even aware Idaho has a long history. Since 19, 1917, they had the first sanctioned dog race in Ashton, Idaho. And so this is in keeping with an Idaho tradition. Yes. People love it. Yeah, and there are uh, there is a specific change that you want to talk about, too. There's going to be a new ending, new finish line. There is, and it'll t be taking place at the little ski hill at the lodge, okay. just below the lodge. Yeah. And uh, please come out and... Uh, and leave your pet home. Okay, that, yeah, that's good to sure. know. Yes. And this is multiple days, it, so you have different opportunities to see it. So the initial race, the 300 mile race, will start on Wednesday, um, I believe at 11 a.m. If I miss something, it's on the website. Okay, perfect. Um, but 11 a.m. on thir or on Wednesday is the 300. The 100 and the and the uh, the junior race starts the following day, and all about 11 o'clock. So how many uh, mushers and dogs, so there's what are we ten, talking about? Ten teams are okay. in the 300, ten teams in the 100, and we have one junior musher. She's from CUNA, CUNA oh, Idaho. Oh, really? Yeah, go CUNA. Oh, I yeah. love yeah. it. It's got, yeah, it, we're really excited to have, have a junior racer this year. Yeah, well, it, it's neat to definitely watch it. I know there's a, a lot of work that these dogs put into it yes. too, right? They, they need to be cared for, and that's why uh, you're involved, on, right? Yeah, so we're there to make sure that we can ensure the safety of the dogs and to ensure that the dogs can continue racing. Mm -hmm. These are super athletes that eat 10,000 calories a day to travel oh, sometimes yeah. 100 miles a day. So they have specific needs, veterinary needs and nutritional needs, and all us veterinarians assigned to the race take it very seriously. So are there vets all through, you know, different yes. checkpoints to make there's, sure they're okay? Yes, there's about six of us veterinarians and we're all experienced Iditarod veterinarians. We've been trained um, and they position us all throughout the race stops. Every dog gets an exam at every stop. So I did the math and if there's going to be 20, 250 dogs, every dog gets about four exams. We're talking about wow. six veterinarians <laughs> performing 1,000 yeah. exams wow. in four days. It's a lot of work for it you is. guys, huh? It is, but, but it's, it's important wonderful. to make sure they're okay. Yeah, yes. what is it like to be involved? Well, I find it really interesting because the dogs are completely different than any pet. You know, mm -hmm. they their nutrition is different, their behavior is different, they're fed differently, they're uh, housed differently, and I think it's a challenge to try mm -hmm. to do a race with a bunch of dogs like that. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Dan, why do you keep doing it? Well, I moved to Alaska in 1980 because the to run the run the Iditarod, and so dogs is in me. Once yes. you get that bug in yeah. you, you you never let it go. So yeah. either you're running the dogs, running the race, or you're supporting it, giving right. back to the race. Yeah. And so here I am, su supporting. Well, so. good for you guys. And and volunteers are needed too. You still need some more volunteers. Please go to the website. Yes. Go to the website and click on the volunteer tab. Okay. And it'll tell you what's needed when. Um, all that all that information is right there on the website. Okay, yes. perfect. All right. Well, thank you so much for thank being you. here. Appreciate It'll be exciting. It. We we love to see if you can't Come make out it and up. See we, it. we always yep. try and show you guys video because it is really uh, spectacular to see. Yeah. Okay. It's, it'll be a great great event. It will yeah, be. Thank you, Sandon. We'll be right back.